Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to video. Now, if the vert vertical sync is on, you can turn it off and then check. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Now, if display mode is set to exclusive full screen, uh, you can switch to borderless window or you can even switch to window mode. Now, if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, over here, cinematic frame rate, in my case, it's locked. I will keep it locked. Now, now here you can see NVIDIA reflects low latency. If this is on, you can turn this off. Now, upscaler type, if it is set to AMD FSR, in that case, you can set the upscaler quality to quality. Now, if you're using NVIDIA DLSS, in that case, again, set it to quality and then hit apply. Keep the changes. Now, go back and then go to graphics. And over here, if the quality is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium and then scroll down. And over here, you can see NVIDIA RTX direct lighting. If this is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can go for medium. You can even go for low. But in my case, I will just turn it off. So now you can hit apply, apply the changes. Now check the performance. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Ubisoft Connect and then click on the three dots on the game title and then select Manage, then go to Properties and then go to Installation tab and then click on Open Folder. This will take you to the game installation folder. Over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a double click over here. Try launching the game from the game installation folder. Still not working. In that case, make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and go to this second, uh, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK. Make a double click. Launch the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. It's still not working. Again, go to properties and then this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, and then make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, then select Windows 7 this time, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, do the same thing with this exe file, make a right click, then select properties and get, go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, try Windows 8. Hit apply, click on OK. It's still not working. Then again, select Windows 7. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, and then make a double click launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes from here. Hit apply. Click on OK and do the same thing with the second EXE file. Uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply. Click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Pit Defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you, you're using, allow the game EXE file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows Security, in that case, open Windows Settings and then go to Privacy and Security. In case of Windows 11, in Windows 10, you will have an option of Data and Security. Now, click on Windows Security and then click on Virus and Threat Protection. Now, scroll down. At the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it and then click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow and then click on Add an Allowed App. Now, click on Browse All Apps. Now, go to the Game Installation Folder. So, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Ubisoft folder, Ubisoft game launcher, and then open the games folder, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, and then again click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, select the second exe file, and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security. Windows Defender Firewall, click on 
allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings in the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse. Go to the Game Installation folder once again. Select the Game EXE file. Click on Open. Click on Add. In my case, it is already in the list. Again, click on Allow another app. Click on Browse and then select the second EXE file. Click on Open. Now click on Add. In my case, again, this is already added. Now, once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added click on the game and then click on options select high performance and then click on save do the same thing with the second exe file click on browse select the second exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files go to ubisoft connect go to library click on the three dots on the game title select manage and then here you can see verify files option so click on verify this process will take some time once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then after the system restart launch the game make sure that you have the in case of windows 11 you can type in w i n v e r and then click on winver here you can see version 23 h2 this is the latest version right now make sure your windows 11 is updated to version 23 h2 in windows 10 it's 22 h2 so update your windows and then launch the game Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Now for this, you can go to Ubisoft and then click on these three dots. Click on manage. Click on properties. And here you can see add launch arguments. Over here, you can type in dash DX11 and then click on save over here. Now you can launch the game. You can close this, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can go to properties once again. And this time you can type in dash dx dash now let me try it once again so it's dash dx12 and then you can click on save and then you can close this launch the game and then check still not working so when you write this still not working in that case you can remove it save it and then follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 file so download x86 and then run this exe file now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. Again, download this x64, run this exe file. Click on it, 
Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. In my case, both the files are already installed. So it's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this error. Restarting computer. So if you see restart over here, restart is a must. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have like hotas, wheel, pedals, any external devices connected, disconnected, any kind of USB adapter is connected to the computer or USB dongle disconnected, disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. If you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor, disable overlay. Now for this, you can go to Ubisoft connect and then click on the profile icon and then go to settings and then go to interface. If the option which is enable the in-game overlay for supported game, uncheck this box and then close it and then you can launch the game and then check. Also close all the other overlay application. Like if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the other overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it. Close all your browsers and all the third party application. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this Now, the next step is to, now if you're able to launch the game, you can try this step. If you're unable to launch this game, you can skip this step. So if you're able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to video. 
now if the vert vertical sync is on you can turn it off and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then check now if display mode is set to exclusive full screen uh, you can switch to borderless window or you can even switch to window mode now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now over here cinematic frame rate in my case it's locked i will keep it locked now now here you can see nvidia reflex low latency if this is on you can turn this off now upscaler type if it is set to amd fsr in that case you can set the upscaler quality to quality now if you're using nvidia dlss in that case again set it to quality and then hit apply keep the changes now go back and then go to graphics and over here if the quality is set to ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then scroll down and over here you can see nvidia rtx direct lighting if this is set to ultra you can set it to high you can go for medium you can even go for low but in my case i will just turn it off so now you can hit apply apply the changes now check the performance now the last step is to uninstall the game uninstall and reinstall the game so for this you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or any external drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel